Hi guys, Tom here. Uh, today I'm going to show you Firm Tools Shell Extension. And what this does is, is it it lets you if you if you're not able to uh, show um, uh, thumbnails for pictures uh, on your system. Well, the thing with this is, is that it can actually allow you to do that by simply right-clicking. Uh, Hang on, actually, I've just got to do something. Be right back. So for um, pausing <coughs> that early in the video, guys. Anyway, uh, if you had to have uh, thumbnails uh, on your system, you can use this tool to simply just right-click the file, and you'll get a picture. So I'm just going to stop talking about it and just download it. Comes from download.com, so you know it's safe and save file. I wanted to show you the download for this because it's very 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 fast. Yeah see it's very <coughs> it's very small. The file is called uh, shex.exe uh, you double click and run it and run. Pretty painless install. I agree install and finish. Now <coughs> with a with a shell extension um it's not really a program that you uh run. It's more of a program uh you know so it's like a it's like a Windows shell extension. Now the the context menu in Windows is uh part of the shell. So it's a shell extension because it adds on to that. So I've got a picture right here. It's just, you know, a random, random picture. And now I have a, a, uh, I have a thumbnail of this. So actually, I don't really like that part of it. But I'm going to come back to that in a second. But if I right click, I've got, I've actually got a thumbnail of it right there. Now, as you see, it does change the, uh, the menu on Windows when you, uh, in Windows 7, it does change it to like a, Win a Windows 2000 kind of thing. Don't know what happened there. Um, but this is the part that I actually find quite useful. Convert to. If you click Convert to, you can you can save it to the same location and save as type, and then boom, boom rather, <laughs> uh, you you get. All these um, picture uh, extension types that you can use. So let's say you've got JPEG, you've got uh, .gif, .png, .bitmap, and all sorts. And you can just very simply just click the one that you want. So I'm going to say bitmap. We'll click save. And all it's done is is it's just simply copied that file. But into that format, and it's just done it very, very quickly, and that, and that's just exactly what I want. And I know what that <coughs> I know that some novice users may turn around and say, "Well, why can't I not just do this and just you know?" So let's see. I want a PNG image. You know, we just go like that. Well, the trouble with this is, is that it's not really actually. It's not made that into a PNG file, it just means that if you open it, it'll open it as a PNG image. So, you know, it we it displays it but like it just thinks it's a PNG image, but it's not really a PNG, but this will actually convert it through the actual process of making it a PNG. Uh, you know, and whatever file type you want actually into it and it'll actually do it for you. So you know so it gets so in other words it goes to the core of the file if you like and it actually makes it a PNG. I don't know. You know, you, I think you I think you I think you understand what I mean. Now uh that's actually still a JPEG. I'll I'll just rename that to a JPEG. There we go. Just so you know. Now if you want to know the difference between file extensions, it's I think it's to do with uh, file compression. So, if, um, so yeah, uh, a bitmap is one megabyte. A JPEG is only sixty-six kilobytes. 
So I would, if I were you, I'd just use JPEG. But either way, uh, back on to the thing about the thumbnails. Now, in, window, in Windows 7, I use my thumbnails. So I get a preview of it anyway. And there might be some of you thinking, well, you know, I really like the converting tool, but then there's this annoying thing where, you know, I've got this, I've got this right-click menu and I've got that there, which you don't need. And it obviously changes it to, you know, a crappier menu. Well, you can actually just go to Start, All Programs, scroll down, it's by Firm Tools, remember, go to Firm, to, uh, firm Tools, and you've got this little program uh, for it that configures it, Configure Shell Extension, <coughs> excuse me, and what you can do is you can just untick Show Thumbnail, and that's it, uh, untick Show Thumbnail. Uh, enable print option, you can untick that if you want, or you can disable that. Obviously, you don't want to totally disable it, otherwise, you may as well just uninstall it. But right here, all I do is click OK, and when I right click, all I do is I get that. Uh, I'm just going to check something actually. Uh, let's see. So, if I right click, so that's enabled by default. So really, uh, I would say that you could just simply go to configure shell extension and only have uh, enabled convert to option ticked because uh, that you already have and that you may not need. Uh, depends on what op operating system you are on and what options you've got. <coughs> so that's it really. Uh, that's just yeah. So that's it for uh, Shell Extension really, uh, I just wanted to show you it because I thought it was like really really cool. Um, I may I may add this in because I think it would be a bit ridiculous. If you go to System Properties, now you'll notice that when I uh, close a program it just closes out instantly. I don't get that fade effect, uh, effect but recently I've improved my uh, computer in fo uh, performance by disabling some of the options, you know, going to the performance tab in system properties, performance settings, and I've clicked custom. Uh, this is all I've got. I've got enable aero peak, uh, enable desktop composition, enable transparent glass, uh, show shadows under windows, show thumbnails instead of icons. Show trans, uh, translucent um, selection tri uh, rectangle. Show window contents while dragging. Smooth edges of screen fonts. Use drop shadows for icon labels on the desktop. And use visual styles on windows and buttons. And that's all I've got checked because I found that the visual themes on my computer were uh, slowing it down a bit. So I thought, you know, I could slim it down a bit, it would be good. And obviously, you know, the, the graphics aren't as good, but hey, you know, it makes it work a bit better. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope that the the two things that I've um, put into this video have helped you. Uh, please comment, rate and subscribe if you like my videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.